Cancer, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your mid-April reading. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the rest of the month, what you may not see coming, get some important advice, and discover the hidden truth. Let's get started, shall we? Welcome. Thank you for tuning in today, for sharing this space with me. It's a pleasure to have you here. First, we're going to jump right into a few oracle messages for the spirit animal guidance. Then we'll get into your tarot spread. And we'll end off with an herbal astrology oracle message. Thank you, spirit, for presiding over this reading for cancer today. Thank you for your guidance. It's a pleasure to be here with you all. Woo! Hope you're all doing well. Zebra, open-mindedness, cancer. Keep an open mind. You just want to come flying out around your boundaries, panda. There is more than one way of looking at things. You must be ready to accept alternative viewpoints and new ideas. You must open your eyes to new ideas and new ways of resolving problems. Okay, time to keep an open mind around a situation so you can resolve things. Perhaps in a way that when you approach or approach this month, if you have a problem that has been spiking, you may have to really consider a different approach. Panda, boundaries. Your space is sacred. Guests who overstay their welcome impact your aura. And you have every right to stand your ground. Your needs are important. You must nurture your soul with the same gentle love and support you offer to others. Cancer, you too, you too are very, very nurturing and loving. And if you are not getting that back, it's something to take a look at. Let's get started into the tarot spread. See if we can go deeper here into the messages. Woo! Seven of Pentacles. Watering, nurturing, believing, praying over what it is that you want to change, what you want to create in your life. There's a lot of hope and faith being put into what you are putting your energy into, Cancer. I see that. A lot of hope and faith. Some of it's your some of you it's your career. Others of you it's it's cultivating a new connection, being led and guided by your intuition. Regardless, this is about the way you express your energy out into the world in your fulfillment and in your desires. Following the path of your destiny, Cancer. Let's see. That one to come out. Flying out. The moon. Crossed by the ten of swords. Woo! You're showing up right there and you're reading in your own strengths. Looking at potentially letting go of something. Something that you know needs to change, shift. Some of you, it's a true ending. Others of you, it's an ending of, of a way of operating, right? Of no longer tolerating a situation to stay the same, you know, because it is our very input that, that makes situations stagnate. I think you're looking at it from a different point of view, looking at what, what is hidden from you. What is it that you don't see? So you can actually overcome a situation because Ten of Swords is overcoming and it's the end of a, a long journey. The Hermit. Virgo energy. I just did Virgo. Virgo's riding high. And this is the ability to go within, to take a look at your the challenges, maybe spending some time on your own. So you can navigate what you're feeling because the moon is governs our emotional body. You're feeling a certain way about maybe a change that needs to happen. Recent past Knight of Pentacles, things really slowed down. This is the planting of the seeds. You know, talked about the watering and the nourishing of the seeds. In the recent past, you, you put some seeds in the ground. And you knew it was time to let them do their thing, right? This is walking our paths with faith. You know, I was telling my daughter about luck the other day and... Ladybugs land on people who believe in luck. So I think you you are a believer. I'm getting that cancer. A lot of you tuning in, you're believers in your path. And when you plant those seeds and you believe in them and you put your energy into them, you know it's only a matter of time. This is following your the, 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 the voice from within with a sense of practicality and endurance. Knight of Pentacles, they have a plan. So you had a plan in the past here. You had a plan about the way you were going to invest your energy. This is about your self-investment too. A need to invest in spending time within your own energetic frequency be as a result of a spike in your emotion around 
a situation that you know needs to change. Near future, Ten of Pentacles. Woo! Love seeing this. Cancer. That is some groundedness. That is some beautiful, beautiful, practical, grounded wisdom. You could be trying to work on creating more abundance in your life with another. Ten of Pentacles is our shared energy of family. What is it that you need help with when it comes to feeling a sense of stability and groundedness in your family? Especially around your legacy. Some of this has to do with your legacy mindset, seeing the bigger picture. Ah, seven of wands. You know what, Cancer, I'm seeing for the rest of the month, you really need to have time on your own. You really need to be doing your self-care practices. Your, it's, it's our orientation, right? Sometimes we get oriented on other. This is self-orientation. Self-centeredness is not selfish. It's a way of operating where we are so tuned in to our internal being. If you don't do that, then where is your rudder? You know, then you're just being aimlessly guided by the whims of other people and their notions and their desires. So you must get so clear on governing your own ship, right? Knowing your own direction. My mother told me when I was younger, and this is true, I didn't know who I was when I was younger. And you may think I'm young now. That's good lighting, folks. I'm not as young as I probably look um, here. I'm much older. A lot of people think I'm in my 30s. I am not at all. Um, what you learn as you age, and elders can chime in here, and I'm talking about anybody over 50, all right? And I'm talking elder, elder. I'm talking about people who have grown wise. When we grow wise, we realize that if we do not cultivate the enrichment from within, we are ships without rudders in this world. And we're letting other people decide who we are. And we're going to let them dictate how we feel about ourselves. You get so clear, right, between you and you. Nothing comes b between you and you. And this is what you need to cultivate cancer. It doesn't mean it, it doesn't exist. It just means you need to fiercely protect your own energy, which means you need time on your own to do that. To, to you know, I journaled a lot when I was younger, but I still lacked direction. <laughs> so <laughs> to finish off that story, my mom used to tell me I was like a ship in the ocean without a rudder. And what, I would just let the wind blow me wherever, wherever the wind wanted to take me. And I think I was, I was really that. And it wasn't in a place of true surrender. I just talked about that in Virgo. It was just a place of, I don't even know, you know? So not all who wander are lost. And I wandered a lot in my youth. So I think that whoever is out there wandering, planting seeds in the earth, maybe even literally creating, um, you know, cultivating actual gardens, this is what are you cultivating in your own garden? What are you growing within you to help guide you through all the storms of your life? It looks like you hit a pretty big storm and now you're trying to calm the energy down and get clear in your own energy frequency what you want moving forward. You're showing me you want stability more than anything. You want to feel safe, right? This card is the feeling of I am safely and supported and held. Page of Cups. The hidden truth, growing and learning. You could have someone around you who feels sorry for their actions. I'm getting that. I, I hear that. When I get this card, oftentimes it can be the sign of emotional immaturity. It can also mean someone who feels bad about the way they've treated you. All right. It's the seven of wands here. Whew. Four of wands. You could be going through a rite of passion passage where you are going from one phase of your life into another. I'm getting that too for a lot of you. A rite of passage because I was talking about age. <laughs> age, hey, every decade of your life is is it's a, you know, it's an era. So I, a lot of you are are in it's the ending of one era into, you know, a new era where your own you are your own legend. I think you've had to make some difficult decisions, 7 of cups, 4 of wands around this rite of passage, around what you're going to do next in this next phase. Seven of Wands. Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups. 
Well, you're showing me for the rest of the month, the overall general energy is, you know, it's time to celebrate. It's time to enrich the relationships in your life that bring you joy. But I see that you're, you're juggling this, maybe a very, a desire to go out there socially, but also this stress that you're dealing with internally. And you're juggling both. You're juggling a lot. You could be working a lot. Nine of Wands in this deck is overworking, stressed. You know, this is the need to like, just take a load off. Okay, Cancer, you're stressed about something that you are juggling in your mind. This is the, the card of choosing two paths. Which way do I go? And Spirit's saying, you're not going to decide on a direction until you go within and really listen to what your inner voice is saying. You could have other people chime in and saying, do this, do that. Just like that, that, that the wind without the rudder. Hey, where's your rudder? This is your rudder. This is what you need to cultivate the rest of the month because you're, something is coming to a close in your life, whatever it is. And now you're opening up into a new opportunity, new energies. And this is the card of party time. It's also the card of stress. So you could be dealing with a lot of work stress and also the need to just blow off some steam. And you're, you're kind of in between both of those energies for the rest of the month. But really, underneath it, what you need the most is you. Time with you. I'm seeing a need for balance. Because there's something that you're wrestling in your mind. That it's been a minute. That this, this has been going on a while. Whatever you're wrestling in your mind around your own. I see your own vocational pursuits. Some of you are... are confused about what your purpose is about your life some of you are confused about a bond where you could just be friends right now but you want more this this is the card of absolute confusion and just you know what try to find the playfulness and the joy in the day-to-day -day the best you can if you feel very confused about a certain person or about what what you're supposed to do be exist as Clarity is going to come, but, you know, nothing is going to be soft. Is anything ever soft through worry? No. Tell me one time where something got soft through worry. It just, it just exhausts you. It exhausts you to worry. So try not to worry about whatever it is that you're dealing with this month. We have the Knight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Seven of Wands in the recent past over the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, you were really got it to slow down. You could have felt very defensive around a certain person. Someone, someone made you, this is, this is the card of, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm going to, I really want to just attack. But you, you got this signal. Don't do that. Don't attack. It's only going to make the situation worse. So if, I don't think you did attack. And if you did, you were very, oof. this is that card of, I need to just, I need to be more careful about how I respond to something. And you were being guided to go deeply within in order to remove the thorn. These feel like thorns. Thorns from other people's words, other people's actions, trying to move past a feeling of defensiveness. Mm. I think you were able to successfully move past that, plant new seeds. It allowed you to grow in a new way, Cancer. Ace of Pentacles, you've got a brand new golden opportunity. You know, this is the card of leaning into your own success, good fortune, something being handed to you, a tangible opportunity, Cancer, for your own creative talents to shine. It's time to really bring out your skill set in a situation. Some of you have been really studying a lot. Again, going through a rite of passage where you're near the end of your studies whether you're an adult learner or your youth, in your youth, learning, college, graduate coursework, uh, vocational coursework, and, and now you, you might be given this opportunity here for work where you're really going to start showcasing your talents. What is this new opportunity that you're getting in the opportunity? Ooh, continue to learn. Page of Swords, Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. You're learning a lot about sustaining a lot of you, this is not about your own career because we see the Six of Cups. This is about your relationships. I don't think it's just one person. I think this is trying to be you. Let your own voice out. 
especially in, in the, the share of work when it comes to other people in your life, are you, are you giving so much of yourself? Some of you are cultivating this month new relationships and doing the work to learn about new people. Page of Swords, this could be actually be, you know what, this is actually too indicating is you could be in a new work environment and it's all of that, whoo, takes a lot of energy to learn, right? The uh, water cooler talk, the team building, this new opportunity, a lot of you uh, are in, literally in a new work environment, a new arena, a new locale, and you're doing all the work to understand all, everybody in it, <laughs> everybody you're surrounded by now. Mm. Some of you are cultivating new relationships around your own self-employment, learning who is going to assist you in your goals and dreams and who isn't. I think you're putting a lot of work into investing in the relationships that will help improve your ability to create more abundance and learning what it's like to lead. Some of you are getting promotional opportunities to lead groups of people. And that's not easy. This is great change in your life. Great change. You're stepping up. I think you're a little bit stressed about this new opportunity. You need to have balance between you and what you're doing out there in the world. Yeah, a lot of you are, are taking on the role of an entrepreneur, the role of a leader, a boss. You're bossing up, Cancer. And when you boss up, you get challenged in your per interpersonal relationships at work. Some of you are being challenged in your relationships at home, trying to do the work to overcome the growth and the understanding that relationships require in order for them to thrive and feel safe. Showing me you're trying to balance everything in your life right now, and it seems like you've taken on a hell of a lot of change. Try not to stress. Yeah. There's been a little bit of... I'm getting a lot of self-doubt. Self-doubt. Am I, you know, the imposter syndrome is real, Cancer. Am I good enough for this? Am I going to succeed at this? Yes. But you have to really remove and eradicate those mental, those mental arrows. They're like poison arrows that when they hit you, they actually leave the poison inside of you. And those mental, we'll say um, constructs that trigger our beliefs around worthiness, around our own success. Virgo is going through, that's why I think there's a lot of Virgo energy. Virgo is kind of going through the similar self-acceptance, resiliency, having the courage to actually go after new levels of success. You reach one level, you go to a higher level. And we have to sometimes conquer our inner demons to get there around our own limiting beliefs. And so you're showing me that you're feeling a little bit down. Um, the challenge is, is when you feel upset over any situation in your life, especially around work dynamics or around a certain someone where you're putting in a lot of work learning, all right, <laughs> how to navigate, how to be careful with what you share, how to lead. You might have people around you that you just haven't built the trust up enough yet with. And Spirit is just saying that make sure you pause long enough before you make knee-jerk reactions or assumptions about others. You really need to spend time in your own energy. I think you're surrounded by a lot of people in your family and in your work life, Cancer. And sometimes you're going to feel states of fear around even your own. You could even have a tendency or have had a tendency where you tend to take on a lot of worry and a lot of stress in your mind and you don't even share it with other people. I'm getting that. Like there's so much you hold within and you're being challenged this month to actually open up and invest in the people and the places and the things that actually make you come out of your inner shell. You know, that crab shell, that mentality that you carry of, you know what, I have to protect myself. I can't take risks. This is true. You're taking massive risks that I think it's not just one arena. And you're like, oh, it's almost like you're overwhelmed with change and taking on such a high level of risk where you're developing new relationships, you're in a new work environment, you could be weathering storms in your personal family relationships, and you're just trying to just hold steady. And Spirit is saying you're going to hold steady by taking your time daily and working through the emotions that are coming up for you. You may, you may have a hard time trusting other people right now. 
with your work and in and their ability to really show up and be there for you and to work alongside you. And that takes time. I think that you're trying to trust others. I don't know if you've had situations that have happened in the past where, I mean, obviously you have a lot of defensiveness that has come up recently. And sometimes when we operate from that, we're in survival mode and we're easily triggered. You're trying to remove thorns in your side that have been created by the past. And you're only going to do that by taking solitude and gaining more enlightenment and releasing the emotions so you can trust your path again. Near future. Ooh, love. You're doing some really deep healing around lack. Yeah, wow. Another ten of swords. Whew. Interesting. Some of you are ending relationships. Uh, and there's a lot of stress right now over how to handle the dissolution of certain contracts. Again, leveling up, you could be moving on from a workplace environment because we have a lot of pinnacle energy. You were committed perhaps long-term to a work environment or even a career that you're like, I'm done with this. I can't do it anymore. I'm burnt. This is also tempering the energy this month and recognizing where there is lack. You need to stay committed to your own growth and your own transformation out of this there's there's just feels like there's a lot of restrictions around you in your mind and once you overcome that it will help you free up the energy to deal and process you're processing some sort of ending in your life that is creating that's triggering abandonment abandonment but the thing is is that just don't abandon yourself and you will ride this out don't abandon yourself. You lean into you. Whenever we go through these massive changes in our lives, I'm not seeing a tower. But I mean, with this near future energy, this is coming out of a period of abandonment, of abandoning self, putting a stop to that, especially in what you're committed to long term in your career and in your home life. This is the truly what I'm seeing, Cancer, is you overgiving to the point of exhaustion. You could be caretaking or you could be working so hard at work and no one's doing their fair share and you're not speaking up. But this is, this is you saying no more. No more am I going to live from this emotional state of stress, worry, fear, doubt, being upset at the end of the day when you get home about what's going on at work. I'm telling you, this is, I've been, I've, and I got this coming into the readings for the day about until we really remove ourselves from toxic work environments, toxic friendships, toxic partners. We're actually allowing it. And so the true healing work is eradicating the energies in our lives that we are, we are actually settling for less within. Some of you have deep, deep bonds that have, have been disappointing you. And this is you taking that space to actually put that energy into you. No longer sacrificing self. I'm seeing a lot of self-sacrifice going on here, Cancer, and I think you're very well aware of it. It's just, what are you going to do about it? I'm sorry, I'm giving you a kick in the pants. Two page of cups. You could have someone showing up, really giving you a hard time. What's the hidden truth here? Page of cups. Is this a person? Another page of cups. The devil. Three of wands. Are you wait? Yeah, this is too like, you know what? I'm going to put up with getting less than this because I'm just gonna, you know, you're showing me the hidden truth here is that you could be dealing with emotional immaturity in your work life, in your family life, and just putting up with it, you know, waiting on change and creating fear and doubt around that time period where, you know, in order for you to cultivate true states of inner harmony, and this is inner peace. This is the card of inner peace. A lot of readers think, oh, it's just when love comes knocking and you, and you get that relationship, right? And you have good moments. You're going to have hard moments too. You're going to have just because, you know what? We all look at things externally now through social media, but you don't know what's going on within that person. You don't. And you're showing me cancer. There's so much going on within you that it's time to address it. And if you can keep stalling, and you keep playing the avoidance and you're saying, no, 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 it doesn't hurt me. I'm not getting what I need and want, but it's okay. 
I'm going to sacrifice myself more and more every day. No. Then this becomes toxic. I'm telling you, this is about removing toxicity out of your life so you can do the work to be happy and cultivate inner peace. I'm telling you, you know how hard I spit earlier. I'm so sorry. What do you need to release here around holding on tightly to things that are dragging you down? That's the thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like a ship is sinking. You're like, no, it's not. It's not sinking. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not going to. Nope. This is you actually waking up. This is your wake up call this month. You're having some sort of wake up call around self-sacrifice and overgiving and an abandoning self. And I'm telling you, I'm giving you all a kick in the pants because you don't want to live like this. You don't want to accept toxicity into your life. And say, oh, it's just status quo. I'm just going to tolerate it. No. Your intuition is guiding you towards self-love. Self-love. Self-love, Cancer. Some of you, it's around opening up yet again after a painful, painful process of releasing someone. It's like our very foundational currents get rocked. It's like a crack in the foundation. You're, you're actually trying to fix remedy a crack in the foundation of your belief system around love and around what it takes to feel truly supported and safe in your bonds the bonds that are the closest to you cancer this is not just about one person it's about your beliefs i got to do everything on my own life is hard it's hard if you make it hard you get to decide what you're going to carry what energies you allow you're going to allow people to take, cause you pain, people you can't trust? Are you going to go within and learn? It's time to cut this out. It's time to be committed to my own evolution, to my own stability, to my own security. What you don't see coming, Cancer. Come on. What you don't see coming, Spirit. Page of Cups, Six of Cups, the world. Yeah. You are actually wrapping up a cycle where you were learning. You could have strong nostalgic tendencies, and most cancers do. This is a card of self-love. Page of Cups, Six of Cups. You might be accepting someone's apology over and over again as well, and they keep, they keep hurting you. This Ten of Swords twice. They keep hurting you. They keep triggering some sort of abandonment of self. And you can put it on, on them. They keep abandoning me. They don't show up for me. But how does that translate internally when you allow it? Then you start abandoning yourself because you're allowing it. I'm telling you, it all is an inside job. And once we clean that up, folks, and we remove these toxicities, we start to thrive and we create safe, supported love around us. You are learning what you need to close out this month. So you can actually cultivate safe, supported love in the future and within you. What is the advice from spirit? I'm sorry I'm being so hard on you all. I see this clearly that you want desperately out of the situation. And I think that you are. I think that you are. And I hope this has helped you. I am not trying to come down on you. You're not less than. You were a whole complete soul. It's just how you were operating in your environment. It shifts. That one to come out. Doing the work. I'm telling you, eight, a lot of you are doing the work. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Your advice from spirit is it's time to do the work and put that energy and motivation into your own enlightenment, into your own growth, into making yourself happy. It takes a lot of work sometimes to make yourself happy because you have to forsake all the needs of the other people who are clawing at your energy. This is about safeguarding your energy and doing the work to put energy into your own happiness, Cancer. Because at the end of the day, if you're making everybody happy around you, are you even happy? Are you even happy? That's the thing. It's time to work on making yourself happy from, for the rest of the month. Making a plan, taking action. And a lot of you are overstressed in your work environment, and I get it. 
and you're very defensive. You could be you could be working so hard trying to create something that your family members are now starting to chirp at you. Trying to create balance. Let's get your herbal astrology. I know you're going to stop doing this. You're going to stop abandoning self. I know you are. Arnica healer. I love Arnica. Arnica is one of my favorite herbs in the entire world. It, it, it mends. It, it's a mending herb. It mends the things, the broken places within us. It mends all relationships. It is the true healer. The true healer, herbal healer. What did I do with the... I'm sorry, I put the herbal astrology book here. And this is the deck here. If you're curious, Adriana Ayalas, 50 fard, 50 fard, <laughs> 55 card deck. It's one of my favorites, 33, power number. Check out 33, it's a master number. Teacher, Arnica Montana, loyalty, commitment, perseverance, teacher, stability, companionship, community, unique path. Also known as Mountain Daisy, Wolf's Bane, Leopard's Bane, and Mountain Tobacco. All right. Yeah, it's a Saturn. It's a, an herb dictated by Saturn. Arnica has long been associated with wolf medicine, symbolizing loyalty, leadership, Community, intuition, and instinctual intelligence. Wolf, like Arnica, teaches us how to become resilient teachers so that we can experience greater knowing and help others as they seek their own path. When Arnica grows in the wild, it is found in unique and mystical patches, showing us its unique form of manifestation and growth. Like Wolf, it does not follow established pathways. It finds its own way, off the beaten path, defying patterns of habit. Draw upon the power of your tribe to discover the power of co-creative support. Holding your unique power within a community further empowers your vision and capacity. Like a wolf, be fiercely loyal to your tribe while also upholding your unique talent. Yeah, there's, there's definitely this feeling of you have so much going on around you. A lot of you, you could be teaching too in the world. I didn't catch that. Where when you are doing the work as a teacher, you are being a role model. I think there are a lot of people that look up to you. And I think that you are trying to remain loyal. Just try not to worry so much. Don't sacrifice so much of yourself. Accept whatever is ending in your life. It's triggering some sort of abandonment. There's so much that you're shifting out of the rest of this month. Around loyalty. Loyalty is a big, big in your boundaries. Loyalty and boundaries. You find that rudder, right? You cultivate that relationship with yourself. Everything else will follow. I hope you enjoyed this reading.